Okay, so today I'm gonna walk us through how to do custom models. First, we're gonna start with naming the product and then we're gonna choose the type. So this one is a product and then I'm gonna upload those images. Cool, so then once those images are uploaded, um, we're going to prepare the model. All right, so as you can see, it is in training. Five minutes later, it was ready to go. And now we are going to go and click the model that's been generated. Once a model is trained, a trigger word is created for that model and populated automatically inside the prompt box. You as the user can make a prompt, but the trigger word must be included to trigger the trainings and to reproduce that trained subject. I'm going to put in a prompt generating four photos as a square. And then here were the final results. Looks really realistic. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and do another prompt. So this time we're going to try it on a male subject, but we have to keep using that same trigger word that's highlighted in blue. Great, and then here's our final product. Okay, so today we're gonna run a product photo shoot with a untrained model. So we're gonna put in the perfume bottle that we're working with today, and we're gonna choose a preset background, um, which is an option, but I also want to show the custom option. So reset the page, and then here is the prompt that AI generated for me, and I removed any mention about the product so that it didn't show up in the image. We're gonna generate four photos and do a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. Here's the four photos it generated. I really liked them. I liked the last one there the best. So then you can play around with it, resize it as you see fit, move it around the page. And then we're gonna go ahead and run a product photo shoot, same number of photos, same aspect ratio. I decided to resize this one just a little bit more and generate your photos. Here are those final product images. It's important to note that you can generate multiple times just by tweaking the prompt, trying a different photo shoot model, or even train your own model for 10 times better results. Now I'm going to show the magic edit tools. So there's magic erase. You have to just make sure to go over and select the space that you want to erase. There's magic draw, same thing. You need to draw in the space that you want to add something in. There's magic relight, so you can switch up the lighting of the image. You can see all the different options. Magic resize is you can choose any aspect ratios that you want. The upscale makes it bigger. Magic reimagine, create variations of your chosen scene. Magic decompose, you can split the product layer and remove it potentially. And then the magic background remove, if you wanted to remove the background, you could. And so that's it. Okay, we're gonna make a hero photo together on product scope. So first we're gonna click our product. We have some gummies right here. And then we're going to go in and add some elements. This one is orange and it's kind of a citrus theme. So I decided to go with those citrus fruits for this one. So just resize everything, make sure it looks good. As I'm doing here, just moving them around a little bit, making it bigger so it really fills up the page. And then we're gonna generate four photos with a one-to-one -one ratio. And we're gonna run it as a jewelry photo shoot since this product has a lot of text on it. All right, so these were the final results and I really liked how they turned out. Okay, so now I'm going to show how to add text to one of your hero photos or just one of your other product photos. So here's our image. And then we're going to go ahead and add some text. We chose our font. You can choose all different kinds of things to make it however you want. There's a bunch of different text colors. I'm gonna kind of keep it as like a gray for this one. And then we're gonna add a little bit of shadow. You can kind of change the intensity of it. And then for this one, I'm just putting a simple new product launch. Um, obviously that text went off the page, so I'm resizing it a little bit so it's in one straight line. And then I went ahead and straightened it out for this. We don't want many expensive AI tools. We want one tool that can take a basic product photo and generate amazing product images with complex scene building. It uses the new Flux model that you've all heard. What we even want is a fashion AI. You can input your piece of clothing and AI will generate a model to wear it. So it's great to use product scope because